Today I wanna to talk about the three things you need to make sure you're doing when you're building your online business. Welcome to Biz Tips at Nine, where I share bite-sized tips so you can start your day inspired and motivated to grow your business. Now, if you're someone who wants to build a profitable business and have more influence and more impact, then you need to treat these daily tips as little mini workshops. Watch them through, make an action plan, and then get on with your day. My name's Samantha Riley from samantharileyglobal and I help people turn their knowledge and expertise into a thriving business and for them to be seen and heard as influential thought leaders. Now, if you're joining me live today, please say hi, and if you're joining me on the replay, please type replay below. I'd love to circle back and have a conversation with you. Today, we're talking about the three things you need to do to ensure you're growing your online business. And I find generally that people are usually good at one of these things, maybe two, but most of the time they're missing one of these things. Okay, so the first one is attract. How are you going to attract people into your world? Attract them to join your email database. Attract them to join your Facebook community. Attract them to join you on Instagram or Snapchat, on LinkedIn, wherever it is. Attract them to be part of your world so that you have an audience. The second thing, and this one is really important, is engage. Once they're in your world, how are you going to engage with them and open up a conversation? Not just because you want them to learn about what you do, because you really wanna learn about them. You wanna learn about what makes them tick, what's important to them. What is your target market or your prospects or your audience? What do they need from you? How can you help them? It's about opening conversations and not only that, but the more you have conversations with your audience, the more you'll remain top of mind. So when they are ready to, to make a purchase or to buy a product to solve their problem, when you're top of mind, they'll come back to you. Which brings me to number three, which is convert. When you've got these people attracted to you and you're engaging with them, you need to make sure that every now and again, you are actually asking for the sale. If you don't ask for the sale, then you A, you don't make sales, that's pretty obvious, right? But you don't have a business, you've got a hobby, and I don't want that to happen to you because a hobby can't pay the bills. A hobby can't pay the mortgage, it can't pay the rent, it can't pay for your Netflix account, whatever it is that's important for you. So let me just go back and I want you to really make sure that you pay attention to these three things in everything that you do. Number one is attract, number two is engage, and number three is convert. Now, if you like this video and this tip was helpful for you today, I'd love you to join me in my free Facebook Facebook group, Business Success Community, where I'll be doing more in-depth trainings about these topics and more and sharing all sorts of tools and resources to help you grow your business and take it to six figures and beyond. Now, please click the like button if you enjoyed today's video so that I know to create even more content about today's topic. Comment below and let me know what questions you have or let me know some ideas that you've got for upcoming videos. Thanks for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time for another episode of Biz Tips at 9. Ciao.